dope shit like that, Joe. Oh, hi. Welcome back to kids. Um, follow your dream. Hello, Geralt. Where might you be going? Uh, what kind of question is that? Anyway. Know where I can find an elf named Cedric? Don't get involved in this. The merchants are paying good money for killing the beast. Coin is never the most important thing. Maybe, but it's still pretty useful. I don't trust her. Sheila? Why not? She's a powerful sorceress. Dangerous to her foes, even more dangerous to her friends. I know you don't like her. Any specific reason? I'm just trying to warn you. Thanks. I guess I'll have to ask her. How? We're going hunting together, right after I find Cedric. Well, then let's go see him. He should be at the top of his observation tower. <laughs> How's it going, dear? Everything all right at the house? Greetings. Mind if I take a look at what you have in stock? Certainly. You're welcome to. I'm Fioravanti, a merchant. Not to be nosy, but weren't you hired to kill the Cairan? I've had my fill of this place, and I'll be glad when the blockade is finally lifted. Lorita won't let you traitors out until it suits him. Seems he needs you here for some reason. What's that supposed to mean, damn it? Is he organizing some international trade fair? I'm a subject of King Demavend, and I tell you... Demavend's dead. Ah. Uh. Now if you don't mind, can we get down to business?
Youngster screaming in data and the old man. Now Don't go to the forest, Witcher. It's certain death. Not a very nice day. Moril would delight in a day like this, Saharan. Enjoy the memory of her. Don't wallow in the longing. I try. I do. But I cannot believe all the bad blood this disappearance has bred. Don't let other Shay poison your memory of her. Hatred is but an outlet for helplessness. Thank you, Cedric. Vafail. Vafail. Greetings, Witcher. How's it living with Roach's soldiers? Splendid. I know every shit joke that anyone's ever thought up. Plus, I've learned how to burp out the official title of the Emperor of Nilfgaard without reaching for beer. Shorty's told me about his 16 children, all named after Temerian troop divisions. And I know his nickname has nothing to do with his manhood. Nice to know that you care, though. Glad to see you in a good mood. I think I actually like them. They're good people. One of them even proposed to me. Who's the brave man? <laughs> Sorry, that's a secret. And here I thought Roach's boys had an ounce of respect for me. Are you Cedric? Who asks? Geralt of Rivia. Ah, the Witcher. And? Triss Marigold. Lovely scent, Triss. Cedric, look at me. What do you want, Geralt of Rivia? The elf woman you were talking about. How did she disappear? Sir Harim believes the forest took her. What do you believe? Moril simply vanished, almost a year ago now. Some say she was too beautiful, and Dwan must have harmed her. You believe that? If I have no evidence before me, I try to trust my feelings. And they tell me the forest did not take her. Why would you keep that from Sir Harim? Because it's meaningless. Perhaps she was murdered, perhaps she departed on her own, never to return. She's gone, and neither I nor Sir Harim can reverse that. I'm looking to hunt in this area, and I could use some advice. I'm no witcher. I set traps, snares, try to keep Neckers away from Lobinden. that's all. I'm aiming a little higher than Neckers. The old man? Meaning the Cairn? Finally, Laredo's splurged. Listen, I'm not one to teach your grandmother to suck eggs. You witches know your work. But if you pay me, I can prepare a useful trap. What kind of trap? Puncturing trap, immobilizing trap, even decoys to pull monsters into an ambush. Whatever you like. 
Since I can easily finish off an ensnared necker, it should be child's play for you. I need to make a few orns. You wouldn't happen to have a job for a witcher, would you? There's never a shortage of work for a witcher in this forest. It's positively teeming with beasts. Though I'm not surprised they come here in droves. Know why that is? Cursed places attract all sorts of scum, like dung attracts flies. There was once a great house in the clearing. They locked up lunatics there. During the war with Nilfgaard, it was raised in a fire. The lunatics broiled in their cells. The ruins remain cursed to this day. Two daredevils went off to explore the ruins recently. They haven't been seen since. A great house, you say. Tell me more about the building itself. It was an old manor house that was converted into a mental institution. There was no shortage of lunatics in wartime. They just kept coming. Reverend Mercey locked them up in there and looked after them. If you find the two people lost in the ruins of the mental asylum, you stand to be handsomely rewarded by them or their families. No harm in trying. I aim to kill the Karen. Heard you might be able to help. That depends on the sort of aid you seek. I need information. We should have killed it years ago. No. Now I don't know. The beast has become too large for the riverbed. And it has strange growths on its tentacles. Extremely thick skin. Previously, it inhabited a swamp along one of the Pontar's tributaries. Completely wild terrain. Even the Scoia'tael don't venture there. You should go see the wreck of the boat it recently sank. Inspect any traces it's left. See the destruction. Where's this wreck? Venture south into the forest, then turn east toward the river. You'll find the ruins of a bridge erected long ago by the Enshe. The wreck lies at their foot. Thanks, Cedric. Hmm? You'll find me by the boat ride. Jeez, Triss. Sure you're not a...
What's going on? <gasps> Cadmill Grimblade. How's your health, Grandma? Well enough, Sonny. What ye looking for here in Lobbinden? Kingslayers. Well, well. Seems I outlasted even Foltest. Now just to outlast Lorido, and I'll be on my way. Gods bless you. work for three, but what of it? We're poor folk. I'm sure we can work something out. Ye best go to Flotsam Town Square near the inn. There are notices on the board there. Just leave the troll be, please, no matter what the townsfolk say. Any other jobs? Well-paid jobs? Go seek the old man. Lurido splurged on a sorceress, so he's clearly got means in the budget. You mean the Cairn? Call him whatever ye like. I mean the River Beast. He troubled our great-grandfathers already, but he's become unbearable recently, tearing through nets, choking fish with venom. Even Lorido says that since the local economy be harmed, there'd be no choice but to hire a sorceress. Ho ho ho! A witcher! So when will you tackle the old man behind the hut in love?
Who exactly are you? One who warns humans against the dangers that lurk in the forest. Care to clarify? I am old. Even for an elf. Yet the forest is older. I've lived in it for years and understand it. Though it's nothing I can explain. At times I make mistakes and people don't come home. So you help humans? I just know if it's safe to venture beyond the gates or not. Maybe I'll come back when you're sober. You witches live a long life. You may indeed get to see that day. What are the Scoia'tael fighting for? Do you ask about the old ones, who hoped to restore our race to its previous glory? Or about the young ones, who fight for survival and out of suicidal revenge? Yorvith's warriors. Which mold do they fit? They believe they are still independent, and that there is but one just way to view their cause. In truth, however, they are but a shadow of the Enshe's former glory. They cling to delusions to the very moment when a sword or a noose ends their life, or until they realize the truth themselves, which is, I believe, the worst. Good luck. You should get home early today. Eat something. Get some sleep. Stop. Ha! Are you serious? Mother? Like father, like son. Fools are both of yous. Ah, uh, sail to your ruin. Oh, my damn sacrum, aching and thumping. You'll be trying no one else, Elvin, bitch. I don't know what you're talking about. Commander Dorito will explain everything. You've not... What's going on here? This whore's a Scoia'tael spy. Any evidence? What's it to you? Easy. She loiters around the garrison, kicketting us. Roderick says he bowed her, but I don't believe that. I did! That's your evidence? Two of our lads are missing. Last seen with her. I only spoke to them. Then they went off towards the caves. That's all I know. The bitch is lying. She led them into an ambush. This ought to be easy enough to resolve. Look inside the caves. But they're crawling with all sorts of filth. I'll do it, but you'll pay me. Wait for me at the harbor. My medallion vibrates when you're nearby, and it only vibrates near magic or danger. Maybe it's warning you not to make a pass at me, lest I slap you. You're right. I should watch what I do. Listen carefully. People may say I'm a witch, but I don't deal in spells. You don't look like someone who'd come for a charm or a curse. So you either seek out sensations or hunt witches. Whichever the case. I'm not about to denounce you. 
Nor do I want to see you dancing naked in the moonlight before Veopatis' shrine. How dare you? I want to buy some herbs. Herbs? For personal use. What do you know about protective amulets? I'm no sorceress, but I know a bit about magic. Why do you ask? Take a look at this one. I have reason to believe there's something not quite right about it. Hmm. I'd say there's magic in it without a doubt. I'd gladly buy it from you. Why do you care about the amulet so much? I collect antiques. They may be useless to others, but I see value in them. I don't believe you. You want to buy a piece of metal just because it's old? I don't have to explain myself to you. I'm a witcher. You don't want to lose a customer like me. Huh. I suppose you've convinced me. Let's get down to it then. This isn't any old talisman. I'm almost certain it's Melitele's heart. It's a very powerful artifact. At least, it used to be. It isn't anymore? It was cursed, and the spell distorted its effect. It once protected those who wore it. Now it brings misery upon them. Why do you want to buy it from me then? I know a ritual that can restore its original power. Unfortunately, the necessary ingredients are extremely rare. What do you need? Essence of death, a troll's tongue, the eyes of an arachus, and an endrigus fetus. I might be able to get you those. I want to know everything there is to know about this ritual. Ask away. Tell me more about Melitele's heart. They say the talisman was made at the time of the conjunction of spheres. It gave those who wore it supernatural powers. Some didn't like that. The talisman was cursed by a dark force and lost its former power. What do you need to perform the ritual? Essence of death, a troll's tongue, the eyes of an arachus, and an endrigus fetus. Can you conduct the ritual? You must find all the ingredients first. All right, I get it. Welcome, White One. Excellent work. In it? The finest hides and the tannins on half either. either. A straggler here, a lobber there, sometimes a hapless calf. I've even got otter fur for you. You hunt? Oh, we must not hunt in the royal forest. Even children know that. Besides, it's too dangerous to go among the trees now. What with all those monsters? They must be finding more food in the area. A war's brewing, methinks. Not necessarily. The Scoia'tael attack merchants and ambush patrols. Ideal conditions for necrophages. We ought to wait for better times and be satisfied with the little things, like the good book teaches us.
careful there. They say that fine-looking witch will drive off the old... That's the spirit! Damn, you're ugly. 